Yo, yo, what is truly up and good with y'all? As you can see, it's a yard vibe, so welcome back to the yard. We're outside. We've gone ahead and got ourselves a little cheat meal today. Um, I'm gonna just say, I deserve it. You know, I've lost some weight and I went walking and stuff. And now I wanna have myself a little cheat. So, Subway, two different subs. This is all Luke B. Grubbin's fault, by the way. So my man was eating uh, tuna sandwiches. That pretty much just sealed the deal of I need a tuna sandwich. So I have one of those right here, but I also got my favorite, which is the Italian BMT on herb and cheese with all of the fixins. Of course, mostly all the veg. Chipotle, ranch, Southwest, but I wouldn't stop there. I would <clears throat> have to bring my, uh, my hombres my friends in the food game back of course I need to sauce it like a boss does all right and needs to have those two things so we go didn't get myself double meat which I usually get double meat and uh, I feel as if I am regretting that decision and having to deal with the ramifications of there not being quite enough meat on this. Still very good. Got the sweet onion sauce too. Not sure if I said that. But it's doing its thing. Big time. I'm not sure out of why all of the craves of a cheat that I could have. that I ended up with Subway. But it is truly hitting the spot. So beautiful out. Just spent a few days out on the lake with the fam jamly. Good times. That's when you know it's good. When it's like that. when she's wet I gotta say that eating bread like full-fledged legitimate just having like real bread like a true bread like a toasted or untoasted type bread is both a familiar and wonderful experience I understand why bread is like such an addictive thing for people here's the tuna I got it on Italian just like straight-up white bread with cheese, pickles, banana peppers, onions, lettuce, and green pepper that's escaping. I told you guys in the past that I love tuna sandwiches and I still have yet to make a video on that. where I make a few different renditions. I will say this. My tuna always has to be like chilled fridge temperature. I've never 
understood tuna melts. Something about hot hot fish or hot tuna. I don't know. This doesn't make sense to me. That's why I don't even get this bun toasted. Like I get the Italian BMT, I get that toasted. But this one, I feel like even just the toasting, the transfer heat from the bun to the, to the fish, weirds me out. both very uniquely different sandwiches super good though I love the crusty that crusty top of that bun say this summer yard energy it's a whole mood and also the fact that I live in a place that has four seasons I think makes me obviously appreciate the summer more and it makes me think I wonder what it's like for people who live in all the time hot Like, I wonder if sunny, nice weather, hot weather, eventually gets, like, annoying. Or, like, you don't appreciate it, you know what I mean? That's definitely what I love about seasons. Is that varietous change, like... Fall is so good. I love fall too. When all the leaves turn and things, and it's kind of gloomy, but it's still nice out too. Like the weather is like not too hot. Fall is pretty magical. But I guess summer's got to be ultimate, right? Summer seems ultimate. Like it's got to be the best one, technically. I don't know. Hard to say. Falls pretty good. Anyway, small little like cheat day thing. Just wanted to put up a chill video of outside and you know, nothing too crazy, just a chill little vid. And uh, have a little little summer sandwich with you. Okay? On an evening on an evening vibe. So I hope you're doing well out there. I hope you're relaxed. I hope you're chill and I hope it's all going as good as it can go in these weird times. <laughs> Till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.